Hello team and welcome back to another Line Warcast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between Infenzia in blue and Keaton901 in red. This is from the 1v1 league that is going on right now in Line War. You can check out the Line War Discord for more information or to follow along. This replay file was from the Tournament Replays channel in the Discord. Two very good players. They're spawning relatively close to each other in the bottom right of the map. And Infenzia is going for a two airport start. I would expect that these are going to be strikers that we see out of the airport, and it is. I actually love this because it feels like lately the Infenzia replays that we've been doing have been double airport striker starts, which is in general like an older build. We don't see as many players do this. In general, players favor helicopters lately. But Infenzia still doing the cool move which is the two airports with strikers because of how close blue is to red once infenzia gets a good scout here the strikers can do a lot of damage because they can target down individual buildings of keaton keaton's going for an interceptor first out of the airport and then two docks immediately with transport boats to start the island hopping we see that this is a very island heavy map, so it makes a lot of sense for Keaton to do this. So I think in general the game plan would be red wants to island hop, blue wants to do a lot of damage to Keaton early on. Infenzia also has a transport boat out on the way out of this dock, so blue will start moving units across. Presumably this is the island that Infenzia is going to choose to land on first. And I'm not sure if either player knows how close the other one is. Depending on how the pick phase went, they might have an idea. And because of Infenzia's double airport with the striker start, I, I think that Infenzia would expect that Red would be very close and on this island. Keaton's first transport boat is going all the way to the top left island. There is a refinery on it. And so Red definitely has priority to capture all of the islands. Infenzia doesn't really have any way to get these infantry to any of the other islands. And then clearly the, the transport boat in the bottom right. Keaton's going to be able to start building real boats, so to speak. And it's going to be a two versus one dock advantage for Keaton, who gets the full scout of all the starting buildings with this interceptor. After going for that interceptor first start, Infenzia's scout with the four infantry. They're going to move into the mountain, into the forest. They might be able to see this airport, and they will probably see this refinery relatively soon, I suppose. There's negative stealth on the refinery, but this may have counted as a, a forest refinery. So the forest grants some stealth bonus to the building. And I think that's the only reason that Infenzia and Blue isn't able to see it yet. But this is enough of an idea for Infenzia to confirm that Keaton is here on this island and started here. There's no way that there would be this many infantry if Infenzia didn't or if Keaton didn't start on this island. And this one infantry is gonna pretty much bump up against the airport, but it still doesn't have enough detection to actually see the airport. Infenzia would have seen that interceptor that showed up earlier so blue definitely knows that red has an airport this is a nice landing attempt from infenzia to try to snipe a dock but good defense from keaton who is sending helicopters as well a helicopter to defend so that dock will be safe the two airports start with a cruiser out of the dock sort of means that infenzia has to go for a quick second refinery here and that's what we're seeing Keaton is also landed on Infenzia's starting landmass. Eco wise, 360 for blue and 360 for red. Four strikers will be able to finish off the dock. Five strikers can destroy a building in one pass. But the four strikers are definitely going to be able to destroy this. So both players will be on one dock. I'm going to look silly if it doesn't. Yeah, there it is. 
The strikers do the thing. It's more strikers from blue, and there's Sam's now as well. For Infenzia, these will be great defense at home. And it will it'll make it so that Keaton has to be a little bit quicker to disband this command of interceptors if the interceptors start trying to track the interceptor or the strikers too far close to blue's base you can see that on this command there are sams that are receivers for this landing there's no transport boat that's left though So for now, the, inner, the Sam's kind of just sit on Infenzia's starting island. I think that this striker will be able to destroy this dock. And I'm wrong. Surely one of, one of these two are going to be able to do it. Okay, so this is going to leave Keaton with just one cruiser and one missile boat. And Infenzia is the one who has a dock left over. No way that Keaton was going to be able to get anything done here on Infenzia's starting position just because of all the infantry. Nice play from Blue to make sure that is cleaned up. And then we see on the far left of the map that Keaton has landed on that leftmost island. Both players on relatively low eco. It's 390 for Blue and 390 for Red as well. Long term... Keaton should be able to land on all these different islands. There's a lot of trade routes up in the top right. So the longer this game goes, probably the better for, for Keaton, unless Infenzia can do very like game-ending damage. And it could be possible. Right now, Blue has the naval advantage with those two cruisers against the one cruiser and one missile boat from Red, and there's still a lot of inter or a lot of strikers for Infenzi as well. Infenzia does have a trade route on the left side of the, the main island that Blue started on. It'll be a little bit difficult to get it started. It's still a while until Blue is going to cap this territory and then also this territory to connect these two towns and ports. And after three interceptors, Keaton's going for helicopters out of the airport and rebuilding a dock, which I think in general is a very good idea, given just how much water there is on this map. And there's a lot of water territories to cap for, for eco. Here come the strikers again. There's only one Sam for Keaton. With six strikers, all the buildings are going to be exposed i still have no idea how this refinery is not being seen by blue i i thought that with six strikers blue would definitely see this regardless of whether it's in the forest or not and on the way home the interceptor is doing a great job to take down probably a third striker no not quite a third but two is pretty good for red Resets the inner, the striker count for blue to four. With a fifth one now being built. And Fenzi is a little bit low on the money. That's the only reason that this second airport hasn't started building a striker. And look for Infenzi to get constant value from these strikers. Sending them out whenever they're ready. But importantly so that they can all launch at the same time. Strikers very clearly stronger when they're launched together. Keaton's going to get this refinery on the top left island or the leftmost island. And the dock is complete, building a cruiser. Pretty soon Keaton's going to be on every single island in the game on this map, except for this little top left one and this little top right one or this little far right one. And ego-wise, 504 for Infenzia. 502 for Keaton. Still very close on the egos. Tough news for this red transport boat. Three strikers. Do they destroy a transport boat in one shot? Clearly, because they're turning around already. 
today I learned. And the good news for Infenzi is that Blue's able to get one of the transport boats out of here to land somewhere else on the map. There's more transport boats from Infenzi in the bottom right. Not really sure where this transport boat's going to be used. It either can start ferrying units across here, but it's really only Sam's that Blue has down in the bottom right, or maybe the transport boat will move up towards this part of the map and then start moving commandos around. Or these infantry. When you really think about it, there's only two land producing unit, like land unit produce instructors for Infenzio. This factory in the bottom right and then also this barracks. Which I, I suppose matches what Keaton has. Because it's an island hopping map, it's it's a little I find them always difficult to manage as a player doing island hopping maps. Just because of the energy considerations for transport boats takes a little longer to actually get eco going because you have to wait for the transit time to get the infantry to different spots where they can finally start capping. And personally love this sub pen from Keaton. Submarines can be very strong on water maps because of that stealth bonus that they get. Blue's starting to eco, so although Keaton is capping more of the map on land territories, Infensia might be ahead on eco at this point. 550 or 542 for red and 524 for blue. But that will change once this, this town and industry are complete. Far left of the map, this is a really good pickup from Infenzia. At some point, Blue spotted this refinery. I don't even, it's not in the forest, so that's why I didn't get a stealth bonus. I suppose it was maybe one of the boats that was just passing by, but this is a very good pickup from Blue because there's nothing in place to defend it and it will leave Keaton on just one refinery. And top down, scroll wheel, please. That's what it's looking like. Neither player really is able to take this center island, which actually has a city and just three industries. But that would be very difficult to defend. All these buildings are close enough to the shore that any type of boat can attack all of these different buildings. Maybe not this one. Maybe cruisers are the only one that are able to destroy that farm. Here's the strength of entrenched Sams with the strikers flying over it. The strikers will take a beating, but they will be able to destroy this airport. And I think this is the biggest move of the game because all of these interceptors and helicopters are going to explode. This red interceptor will as well once it's done its run here because there's nowhere for it to land. There's no other airport and there's no other airstrip or aircraft carrier for this interceptor to actually land on. So. It will explode, and there it goes, or just glides into the water, I guess. Kind of anticlimactic. I sold it like it was going to explode. Eco wise, six seventy three for blue and six twenty two for red. Still a very close game, but that is an enormous deal to lose that airport. It means that the red Sams have to be in a whole bunch of places at once they have to cover the northern part of this island and they also have to cover the refinery and all these buildings in the south and you can see just how slowly the the sams move it's gonna be difficult for them that for them to do that blue will destroy this this town unless infensia calls these strikers back before they do this next volley and at the cost of two strikers likely that's a very good trade for Infenzia. The second submarine is done for Keaton now. Red still probably like has a larger navy. 
than Blue does. 674 income for Keaton and 703 for Infenzia. And top down is scroll wheel. No idea why. That's what the top down's looking like. Infensi is using this super fancy trick called foreign shore construction. It's in the tutorial in the game. If you look on the menu, there should be a tutorials button and you can watch all these sorts of tips and tricks. And this is one, if you control the water territory, you can build a dock or a submarine pen up against the shore, even if you don't own that land territory. Infensi could have also built it here, I believe. It can be up against your opponent's territory as long as you control the water territory. And because of the stealth characteristic of the sub pen, Keaton's not going to be able to see this. Very cheeky and the strength of the strikers keeping enough numbers that they can just one shot buildings. That's what Infensia does. You can see little bits of this town everywhere. And if you're in Keaton's position, I, I think still long term this is looking okay as long as Keaton doesn't lose this northern island. There's no barracks here though, so this is kind of tough for red. And then of course losing the airport. It's, it's so difficult because these SAMs have to be, like as mentioned, they have to be here and they also have to be up here. And they can't really be two places at once, so as long as Infenzi keeps using the strikers, it'll be very good for blue. All these boats are in trouble. There's no missile boats here. There's a second dock on the way for Keaton. And Infensi has now made it to the leftmost island after destroying that refinery. It's continuous striker production from Blue. 764 income for Keaton. 743 for Infensia. Infensia is certainly with the advantage on like the composition of units in the southern part of the map. And then having a barracks on this northern island is very important. Keaton's now putting down this barracks on the northern island. And you can see just how stealth this submarine pen is that Red cannot see it. Any landings that Keaton tries to make on Infensi's Island, it's going to be very difficult to make anything stick because of both the defense by the commandos, but then also all these strikers, the range of them, they can defend drops all along this northern coast, which will certainly make it at the very least frustrating for Keaton to actually land. In the north, both players will gather up a bunch of infantry and there will be a big fight for the northern island and keaton does have this this factory and the barracks on the leftmost island so really long term red has most of the map locked down it just becomes a question of how effectively blue can break out of this bottom island and how effectively red can actually contain blue to this location because over time then red would just get a bunch of eco and embargo that blue island and just win the game based on eco nice play from these two cruisers from infenzi to take out this refinery they certainly will be able to do so But the good thing for Keaton is that this leftmost island is secured at this point. The dock, if it can get up and build cruisers or missile boats before there's any meaningful landing from Blue will be very good for Keaton because it also secures a refinery.
and you can see Infenzia does destroy that refinery. It, it keeps heating on just one refinery, which isn't really enough to move how many boats Red has created. So the second refinery is very important. You see Keaton starting to move all the boats back over here to try to secure any of these three locations to build another oil well, energy well. And in a 2v1, this, this red submarine is in trouble. You can see the little t torpedoes. Getting fired. I don't understand. How, why does Keaton's boat not fire? It can't see these subs. Didn't know that one submarine couldn't see two subs. So this is very difficult for Red. Losing that second refinery means that all these boats are at energy, and that is it. Keaton tabs, GG. Probably makes a lot of sense because when those two cruisers destroyed that one red cruiser, they would just walk up to the coast with the final refinery for red and then destroy it. There's so many energy producing units for red that Keaton would be unable to move anything. Interesting game. GG. Well played both. It's a short one today, but I think a very interesting one and shows just how, how fragile an island hopping game is and the energy required from all the boats. But I hope you enjoyed this cast. Check out the Line Word Discord if you'd like to learn more about the game, ask questions, hang out with folks, keep tabs on the game, whatever it is. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, cast. Have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. AI coming soon. It's in alpha right now. Thanks for the support, folks. Peace.